Hey everyone! Alright, so this channel is designated to animation, whether it be about different animation techniques or software tips or whatever. But I also think it'd be fun to just also look at the animation in various things. So uh, I want to do some of these videos on actual gameplay. So this is my favorite video game right now. It's called Overwatch and it's a first person shooter and it's fantastic. The designs are great. The gameplay itself is, is really quick and fun and it's just you know pretty epic uh compared to you know a lot of the games that have been out in this kind of category you can see this is the opening sort of trailer sort of story that that sucks you in and kind of to, you know sets the whole game up and it's really nicely done uh blizzard did the animation here of course they know what they're doing it's fantastic um and this is a really appealing character um, well, I do find it funny though because this is uh, the way you watch this it kind of gets you amped up to play some sort of a story mode some sort of a you know a real campaign and there's none of that in the game so <laughs> it's almost like you know the magazine cover or the book cover that's really awesome and then you open it up and it doesn't have anything to do with it um, so the game itself is awesome but it doesn't have a story mode so I'm wondering whether they're going to change that because that's a little bit, that's a little bit off. But look at the variety of characters, the designs. It's really cool, really fun. Yeah. Come on. Of course we want to play that. That intro was awesome. All right, so this is Overwatch. So I'm going to attempt to jump in here and kind of walk around the environments, talk about this stuff. But of course, it's going to be in the middle of the battle. So we'll have to just see how it goes. This is one of the uh, main character, uh, Bastion. Kind of reminds me of the character from Castle in the Sky. And he's adorable, right? This is one of the skin options that uh, I've gained. So it's got this kind of overgrowth look to it. And he's got like, you know, different birds that, that come by and kind of are his little companion. If we go to the hero gallery, you can see there's a ton of other heroes here. Uh, so the gameplay is pretty immense because they all have their own playing style. Anna was the most recent one that just got added to the roster. I tend to play Farah the most. She's a character with a rocket launcher. She flies. Rocket launcher is my favorite kind of weapon of all time. So. And you kind of could do splash damage just by aiming at the person's uh, foot. So she's fantastic. I first started playing the game with this character, Soldier 76. He's a good design as well, but he's a little bit more your standard first person shooter kind of character. He does have a visor that gives him a power up, it gives you an auto aim, which is pretty overpowered. But they're not like some of these characters that have kind of magical powers. So. She's really cool. We got our gorilla Winston here, who's the uh, intro character of the game. Look at them. They're really well done. So I love this in that it's not realism, right? So it's nice. It's a nice balance of uh, character design with enough exaggeration, but it doesn't even try to go towards photorealism and then fail and, and get uncanny or anything strange, right? Okay, here's our Bastion. This is the first skin he came with. This is the overgrowth one. Oh, look, there's a little nest on his shoulder. Did I not know that? It's got eggs in it. How cute. Nice overlap. So obviously the video games have come a long way and they've got uh, automatic dynamics. So nice overlap that just happens with, say, the flowers up there and, and a bunch of other things. So pretty cool. This guy's uh, a nice one to have on the team. He's obviously like a beast in terms of his armor and uh, he has a giant shield so he can put up this sort of force field shield and kind of lead the pack and you can be behind him and be shooting through the shield at the enemies. So it's a good team method of, of playing with that guy. All right, so let's jump in and do a little bit of play. We'll go for a 76 just to kind of get my rage on here because I, I love the uh, fast action shooting and he can sprint, which is fantastic. All right. So if we look in, so this is our main spawn point, right? And it's got this heel kind of, uh, you know, cube that you can be in. We can run back here and chicken and get your health back up, up to date. 
uh, upgraded. They can't come into this level. Um, and you've got that time. You can see up top, you've, you've got 23 seconds before anybody starts playing. So you can kind of, they want me to go to the spot where they're going to spawn and, and actually go and, and get ready for their attack. Um, but while you're waiting in these areas, it gives you a chance to sort of try out your, try out your abilities. So my left trigger has a kind of triple cannon kind of shot, rocket shot, which is pretty cool. It has a nice spiral and effect. Um, and then of course my regular shooting. And I think this is a bit of a mix of both 2D and 3D effects, right? That's pretty good. So obviously the 2D effects are going to be like hand-drawn effects are going to be flat. Um, but they, but they stay oriented to the camera really well. So it sort of doesn't give away that, that illusion, uh, or it doesn't give away the effect of 2D. All this kind of damage that they've done in these video games is great with this nice, like slow fade, right? It's, it's good. Nice interactive stuff. So you'll see people all over the place doing things like this, spinning things cause you can. Um, all right, let's sprint and kind of get into battle. These maps tend to like wind around. Uh, so they kind of have S curves and all that stuff. So uh, you'll get some modes, uh, some avenues where you can snipe people, but basically it's curving. All right, so we got some attackers in here. So um, in this case, they're highlighted red, which is obviously helpful. Let's get that guy. Oh, that guy has a superpower that I absolutely hate. See if I can... Oh, oh, I'm gonna be dead. That guy's too strong for me usually. Okay. Oh, well, let's try and snipe a little here. Okay, down at the uh, bottom, you've got a um, it's kind of like a 50% mark right there. So that's your power up that's going, and it's just slowly tracking away. Uh, might be based on the kills, maybe not. These are your health regens, and a lot of this environment, you know, is something you can you can kind of destroy. So we can we can destroy these railings, and often. Oh, I can't destroy these. Whoa, whoa, wait, easy there. I'm, I'm trying to talk about something. I'm getting shot in the back. I thought I could just destroy those railings, but apparently not. Oh, the cowboy. Cowboy's got a stun move. And once he stuns you, you're just paralyzed and they can just take you out. I'll do a video on Titanfall at some stage once probably number two comes out. But that's the first game I realized or that I, I ever uh, noticed where they have like a recap of, of, you know, when you die, they show the replay from the character's point of view as to whoever killed you. And I hated it at first. I was like, just get me back into the game. Um, oh, he just used his, his power-up move, which is a auto snipe sort of thing. I mean, he doesn't have to aim. It's, and he can get like three people in one shot. It's, it's too overpowered. It drives me crazy. At least there's a voice. He says, I got you in my sights or, or no, uh, it's high noon. He says it's high noon. And then if you hear that coming, you better just try and hide. Let's see if I can... Oh, we're, we're gonna lose our base. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. I know I was saying something else, but anyways. We're getting wrecked. I'd like to get this guy. Okay, here's my visor. He's just using his superpower, which is like a spinny death spiral. And it kind of eliminates everybody in, everybody within range. You can see I got my visor on. If I turn it on now with Y, I don't have to aim. I can just be kind of within the vicinity and it's gonna is gonna uh, snipe anybody within target. So anybody down here? Usually people are down here because there's a little health bar. Look at this, like a zebra carpet. You can wipe your feet when you're coming out of this room. There's my health power up. But look at the environment, right? It, oh, hang on. I was talking about the environment. Yes. Okay. Look, see, it's, it's not all real. It's really nicely. Stop it. Let's see if I can wreck him. Okay, good. But it's nicely uh, designed, so you, you get what everything is. It's got that kind of you know cool, sort of semi-real feel to it. But it's just really designed. I know I'm saying the same thing again, but uh, I just find that really cool. All right? And a lot of the environments, you know, interactive, so you can kind of knock things around. I wonder whose luggage these are. Huh? Did we? Uh... Oh, they're pushing the base. What am I doing? Okay, so this, um, this mode of gameplay is you can see that there's a cart going on there. They're gonna, once they realize I'm shooting them from behind, they're going to get me. Let's get the little uh, fly girl. Come on, girl. What's wrong, chicken? 
Yes, you are. See, that's the other character. That's fair who I like to be. You can fly. I can take you right out of the sky. Yeah. Ah! Oh, it wasn't your fight, buddy. Okay, anyways. So, this one, you gotta kind of... Yeah, he used his superpower to get me. I'll go check in. He could have just aimed. I was not even noticing he was there. But you want to try and escort this vehicle thing, the payload, they say, from one spot of the map to the next spot of the map. So, well, that's what they're doing. We're in defense mode, so we're blocking them the whole way if we can. And based on the time up there, uh, you know, whoever gets there first wins. A little rocket for you. Oh, I missed. I could got him in the back with a rocket. I definitely like uh, flank style playability. Oh, that guy's got a chicken power. I hate that. Why am I going back for my weak? Oh, I got a power up. I forgot I got health upgrade. Uh, yeah, see that yellow kind of uh, radius there. You can put that down and that upgrades your health or it lets you health regen. Oh, my visor's in play. Okay, so this is another part of the map. So as they get, uh, as they move along, you know, you'll have different spawn points. But this is like our most furthest back spawn point. So we're getting pushed and they're, and they're leading the way. And you can see that bar up top, the blue, uh, they've gotten first, there's only two checkpoints on this map here itself. But they've gotten past that first checkpoint. They've got three, uh, almost four minutes left. But look at the nice artwork here, you know, featuring uh, some of these characters. Um, really cool. And these seem to be a little bit more on the serious side. But there's uh, other maps that are, you know, kind of really playful. And just have some kind of silly, silly designs and, and uh, concept art. I can't tell the people who put themselves into the game, like the, the designers will often try and sneak their, their own uh, personalities or names or whatever. Um, that could be. Well, this guy's a ninja and he's in one of the trailers, really cool. And too tough, too tough. It's like he can fly basically. Oh, let's use our visor and see if we can get this guy. Yes, one. Now mute, oh, this floaty. God, I hate that guy. Oh! What? I didn't even see him. I think so many times I'm playing and I feel like I'm all alone. I, I was like one person against four people. Okay, anyway, let's jump back in here. See if we can stop them. They're almost at the end. They just whoa, whoa, whoa easy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're pushing us right back and they're just getting us as we spawn out. No, 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 that's my robot buddy. Get wrecked, ninja. Oh, I'm gonna get wrecked. I have a feeling. Come on. See, this is our, well, oh, they put their label in. This is another cool thing. You can put down like a little uh, label. Oh, I've got a really weak one. Or like a, just a, the basic design. But there's really cool logos, little spray paints that you can add to a wall or wherever you want. You can buy them, you earn them in upgrades. And I'll, I'll open up one of the loot packs where you can, uh, where you get those things. Should we get this guy together, little uh, robot dude? This guy's good, that's Bastion that we said, right? And so he can transform into this turret. Um, he can run around just like a robot too, but the robot mode isn't very powerful. Is there somebody over here that needs wrecking? No, no? You're doing good. She's really good, look at her. She's like, wait, wait, come on. Okay, okay. They're actually wanting to play the game. Her name's D.Va, this character. And she's got this great mech suit that's, that's really uh, powerful. And she can launch it and have it explode. But she's almost like laying right down in it. Come on, let's get that guy. Okay, we gotta fight him off. They're about to take us out. No, the ninja's too tough. Yeah, come on, back into me. I'll take you out. I'd like to get that ninja. Oh, he's gonna get me. Okay, they got a minute left. Can we hold him off? Can we hold him off? Oh, nice job, guys. This is a good team. You can get on these transports and ride them. Of course, you're a sitting duck if you're like me right now. Who's over there? Okay. I almost got my superpower. I might stay here and flank. Ooh, I just got majorly powered up by that green guy. Check out that dragon thing that just I'm going through. Uh, oh, hey, how's it go? Oh, come on. I got my superpower I'm wasting right now. Where is anybody to shoot? I wasted my power up. But yeah, so there's a green guy on rollerblades that he, um, he's got a power up, this guy here. He can kind of use this health 
a boost that gives everybody around health, which is really great. So let's get him, let's get him, come on, come on, come on. Reload. Did we not get him? Oh! Taken out. What do we got? Okay, so we're in overtime, so time's out. But because they're on, uh, they've got the payload, or they've, they're in possession of it, they're around it, it's going to keep them active until we can fight them off. And it's got this little fire kind of time beam that's that's, that's under overtime that's going to be the countdown. Oh my gosh, they're going to they're gonna win us. Ah! Everybody's got a melee attack, of course. But, <laughs> no, no help there. Ugh. Sometimes it feels like in this game, you know, the time runs out and it looks like you're going to win. And then everybody panics at the last second and that's when they that's when they all show up and kind of you know bring on the game and fight it off so that was the end of it defeat this is the hero team and you can see the diversity of, of characters really cool oh little bastion the guy we were talking about earlier he got the the player of the game yeah he's on our team so this is his point of view and it's it's the first time i've seen this is um in a game where at the end they say, you know, who got the kind of play of the game, what was the best uh, move, and they've got the video that they run like that. It's really cool. Usually it's based on kills, but some of the characters are healers, so that gets in there. And then this is a voting thing, so we can vote for Bastion, because he did 43% kill participation. That's really nice. And there's, uh, what did I get? I got 17 eliminations and 8 deaths. Not bad, I thought it was going to be worse, since I'm kind of goofing around in this, this kind of a gameplay here. Overwatch is really clever in that they don't let you uh, sit around, right? So if you're not playing the game, they just kick you out and they'll let somebody else in. So you don't end up with one side that is like minus one or two players, which really changes the gameplay, obviously, and, and favor the team with more with uh, with more people. If you see at the top right, uh, my name here is Sudi Umbrella 82 and I'm at level 44. So if you guys see me on there, if you guys see Sudi Umbrella 82, say hi to me. That's uh, we can play. I might change that one. That was the one that came with uh, my login with the Xbox. Uh, but of course, you know, once you have some weird name, it sort of sticks with you. So let's go in here. I'll, I'll just go here and look at the loot boxes. So these are what we've earned. These are summer games. These ones are associated with the Olympics that came out a few weeks back. And so you'll have different sprays um, that you can spray on the walls. So there's a spray with a gorilla doing volleyball. It's kind of funny. This is a skin, right? So this is that uh, rollerblade guy. That's pretty cool. Right, again, we got our secondary action on the hair up top. And really quick, these, these guys keep alive really well. So they do have their drifting animation, like their cycle, of course. Um, but it's a nice idol, right? So they're not doing a ton, but they do keep alive. It does express their personality. And I think they do a great job with the eyes and that they're there. They don't look like they zombie out, right? There's so many games, especially the more uh, realistic looking games that the eyes just, they just look creepy, right? So, but they keep them moving and alive and, and not just phased out in the center of their head. This is a voice one. Strive for improvement. All right. Yeah. You got all the different voices that you can do as well as changing their skin. So you can customize really well. Yes. Okay, good. So, like I told you, Farah, I really like uh, that character here. Um, so, this will be one of the, the customizable poses that at the end, you know, what mode they're in in the lineup when you're, when you're winning. Those cool wings, right? And it's not just your standard, you know, metallic look, but it's got a blue sheen on this one mixed with gold. Uh, really, really cool. Oh, we should play her next. All right, so that was a look at uh, Overwatch. Let me know if you guys like this kind of a video. I know that it's hard for me to actually continue talking about the actual animation side of it during the gameplay. I'll keep trying. Um, it's fun to do this anyways, and I'm sure I'll be able to kind of focus a little bit more as I do more of these. So I'll see you next time.